People are hospitalized and a Pinellas County deputy is on administrative leave following a violent encounter in Seminole. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Lee. And I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us tonight. This happened just after 6 o'clock on 95th Avenue North in Seminole. Investigators say the deputy opened fire on a woman who came after him with a knife. News Channel 8's Alessandra Young joining us live with details on this. And Alessandra, this all started with a stabbing, you say? Keith, that's right. Police say an argument led to the stabbing between a couple who lived together. And, area, and neighbors in the area that I spoke with say they are shocked. All of a sudden I heard, I thought six or seven shots. Um, and I kind of jumped up. It sounded like it was right outside my my office window. The sound of gunfire in a normally peaceful Seminole community. You don't expect it. I mean, it was definitely a scary thing because you don't you don't expect it in this neighborhood. Um, this the neighborhood that it happened in. It's a 55 plus community. St. Petersburg police now taking the lead on the investigation after they say a Pinellas County deputy was involved in a shooting Monday evening. Chief Anthony Holloway says the suspect, a 44 year old woman, stabbed her partner, a 70 year old man during an argument. He says the victim started yelling for help and went to a neighbor's home. As he's into the home, they can see the suspect now coming toward their house. As she gets to the front door, she then takes a knife and then tries to pry that door open. And says Deputy Christopher Ryan responded to the call on 95th Avenue North. He then gives her instructions to drop the knife. She then starts proceeding toward the deputy with the knife raised, continues to go toward him. At some point, the deputy then fired several rounds at the suspect. Neighbors tell us they could hear the gunshots ringing out. So I jumped up and ran in to my husband and just said, was that what I think it was? And he said, I don't know, I think so. Right now, the investigation is still in its early stages, but law enforcement says the deputy has been placed on leave during the investigation. Stay safe, take care of your loved ones, make sure that everybody's there, make sure that you're there for everybody. The chief says that both the victim and suspect are in the hospital. The victim, he says, is in stable condition, and the suspect is in critical. Live in Pinellas County, Alessandra Young, 8 on your side.